So every Tuesday morning, a resident presents an interesting case for the rest of the team to ask questions about. I'm up for the first time today, so wish me luck. Hey guys, I have a 29 year old male here coming in with chest pain. Is this patient even real? I think so. I'll admit, I don't know what I was expecting. How long has it been going on for? Five days. What makes it worse? Talking to his dad. And what makes it better? Talking to his mom and Tylenol. Has anything like this ever happened to him before? No. Does he have any other medical problems? No. Okay, let's move on to a differential. MI. GERD. ACS. Rib fracture. Pneumonia. Polycystitis. Costochondritis. Anxiety. Aortic dissection. Arrhythmia. Stress. Peric no, you said that. Rib fracture. Uh, pneumothorax. Oh. Rotator cuff tear. Pericardial effusion. Esophagitis. Did you get that all down? Tamponade. Peptic ulcer disease. Do I need my mask for this? No? Okay. Hi, I'm Kara. I'm one of the interns here. I'm in the office today. As interns, we do a half day of clinic a week, either a morning session or an afternoon session. After we go see our patients, we go back into the conference room and soup with one of the attendings. We talk about differential diagnoses and come up with a plan together, and then they help us put our orders in. Come in. Hi. Hello. I'm Dr. Boothroyd. It's Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So what's bringing you in today? I'm here for my complete physical and all my refills for my meds. Okay, great. Let's see what we can do for you then. What medications do you need refilled, by the way? Uh, pretty much all of them. Well, I've got a whole bag of them here. There's quite a few. Uh, you know what? Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Let's just get started. Oh, hey, welcome back. I thought we lost you there. Are you doing all right? Yeah, everything went fine. They just couldn't remember which was their periwinkle colored pill, so we just looked on Google Images to find all the possibilities. You know with Epic, we can just look up their meds, right? Hey, I'm Kyle. I'm one of the interns on for inpatient this month, and things have been going pretty well. I carry about six patients per day, and I put in all my orders, make my own decisions with the help of my seniors and they teach through the day and they look over all my stuff. So it's been fun taking charge and doing things for myself for the first time with all the support that I need. We also have this thing called Janet's Rule. Hi, I'm Janet. So the inpatient team is responsible for admissions up until four o'clock. And after that, at the end of the day, it goes to the person who's on call for that night. But sometimes you get the call for an admission right at 3.59. Oh. 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 Hi, this is Edward with Family Practice calling for, uh, we got Paige? We have an admission or something? Okay. Okay. Alright, so let me get this straight. At 3.58 today, you're sending me an 84-year-old lady with history of CVA times five, kidney transplant two weeks ago, lung transplant a month ago, coming in for chest pain, radiating to the back, and bilateral leg and arm weakness. Okay, no issues. Oh, you said a potassium of one? Okay, no problem. I'll send my intern down right away, Kyle. He's really good. He'll come up with a great plan. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Hey guys, this is Matt. I'm a second year. Uh, second year is going well. Much better than intern year. By the way, I'm on call tonight. But yeah, we recently had our monthly didactics. It happens on the third Wednesday of each month. Usually we have guest lectures, workshops, or activities to learn things. Because of COVID, we decided to make it more laid back and went to a local park. We got to hang out, eat some food, and do some group activities. My class drew this. That's me. And that's my roommate, Ryan. 
I'm glad that the others finally got to see how bad Ryan is at sports. I mean, I've known him for six years now, so I've always known, but now others do too. I did learn that Hans is also really bad and that Dr. Berta and McKenna know what they're doing. Yeah, COVID's been tough on everyone everywhere, but we're pulling through. Anyway, hope you guys have a good interview day and enjoy what you see. Can I go to my call shift now? <laughs>